Hello, I'm Dan Anderson. I'm going to talk today about Hyperledger Avalon and give a little demo on a hospital heart disease application that for information share between a hospitals and an insurance company. Hyperledger Avalon is a new project. It is a off-chain trusted compute application uh, or also called confidential computing, where you want to do some competition among parties that do not trust each other. In this example that I'm going to give today, we're going to have two types of parties. We're going to have a hospital or multiple hospitals um, giving heart disease information. And on the other side, we're going to have an insurance company. You need to, to evaluate a set of um, of employees for a heart disease risk uh, so they could price their insurance policies for a company. So let's just start with the, the demo here. So here's um, a heart disease evaluation here on the right for one person and we do a evaluation um, giving these all these parameters here. It takes a few seconds here to get the evaluation result. And in this case, this person has a 49% risk of heart disease. So let's look at what happened here. Um, the client here sent a request with all these parameters, um, age 32, female, typical anginia, blood pressure 156 and so forth, and encrypted them and sent them to a worker. So the all the information is sent encrypted to the worker and it got a result back. We'll look at the result. And it was also encrypted. It's the very bottom here where you see data. And this, this was decrypted by the application and it resulted in this sentence, you have a 49% risk of heart disease. Now the worker in the background uh, was running um, Hyperledger Avalon, a worker instance, the worker is inside a Intel SGX enclave. So with this enclave, all the data that goes in is encrypted. The data is computed uh, with using a sign program and it gives a, it calculates a result and encrypts it and sends a result back to the client. So outside this enclave, nothing is um, visible except encrypted data. And we could, for example, have another hospital patient um, send some data here. We're waiting. There's, in this case, this patient only has a 20% risk of heart disease. So this is one half of, of the demo. Um, where you have some input um, given from hospitals, a hospital or multiple hospitals for a set of patients. So in, in this um, example here, sorry, I'm gonna share the screen again. In this example here, we have an insurance company. We have, a, a, it just has a simple client application and wants to get the heart disease risk for a set of employees for a company that wants to insure. So it queries the same data the hospital was entering and gets a result. So we're waiting for the result here. And in this case, the result for the insurance company is a 30% risk for 16 people. With this, um, it queried a worker in an enclave, and that worker took all the data from the hospitals and calculated the risk of 30%, averaging the risk of, of all those people. So now the insurance company could give a quote for these 16 people employed by um, some hypothetical business. So, how can, now the insurance company doesn't have access to this data. It's all encrypted and, and the hospital has um, strict rules about giving out confidential data uh, for their patients. So how can this happen? 
<clears throat> the data is all encrypted um, and stored encrypted on a, well, it's, it's sent from the hospital and, and stored encrypted in some database. It could be a distributed database. It could be a blockchain, which is actually a form of a distributed database. But the key point is it's distributed and the data is encrypted. Nobody, unless you have a key, could access that information. Uh, so the insurance company has this app that runs inside the Enclave and calculates uh, the, the risk. But the insurance company does not have access to the individual uh, insurance, individual risk among all the patients. It only has an aggregate result. Inside the Enclave, you can only run signed approved applications and there's only two in this demo. One is a application or client that um, calculates the risk of heart disease for one patient and then that's saved to some distributed database. And another application, signed application, is used by an insurance company uh, to gauge the risk among a pool of um, employees of their heart disease risk to help calculate um, what the insurance rate for some company would be. So let's look at the insurance company here. It sent the request, uh, encrypted request to the Enclave. That's that data here. And, and the result came back here. The result came back as this encrypted data string, which actually decrypts to you, heart disease risk is 30% for 16 people. So everything outside of the of the enclave is, is encrypted. The, and what goes inside is um, all encrypted. The program is encrypted and signed. The, the data is, is encrypted and signed. And the result is that's sent out from the enclave is encrypted and signed. Only inside this enclave uh, is it uh, in the clear. And this enclave is not accessible from the outside world. You could think of a of a, a S, Intel SGX enclave as a reverse sandbox. Uh, a traditional traditional sandbox you may remember from security is it keeps is keeps things inside. So that may be used, for example, like a Java client on a web web client uh, where you want to. Um, make sure that it has no access to the the computer, the personal computer or device. So everything is confined in that sandbox. Well, uh, SGX Enclave is opposite. It's a reverse sandbox. It's not trying to keep the program in. It's trying to keep other people, other processes and everything, programs um, from accessing the data inside the, the reverse sandbox. So. Other programs, even privileged programs, even root cannot access what is inside that enclave. So this insurance company could be assured that um, the result is correct, even though it does not have access to the low level data. Uh, <clears throat> because it's running a signed program and the, and the input is signed and encrypted um, from the hospitals. And the hospitals, on the other hand, is assured that the insurance company or anybody else does not have access to this confidential information. It is all encrypted and can only be accessed through approved signed applications. So that concludes this demo. If you want more information, uh, you could start out with um, the website, hyperledger.org and go to hyperledger.org slash projects slash Avalon, and there'll be links to um, several other resources, including a GitHub repository. Uh, Hyperledger Avalon is, um, is under the auspices of the Linux Foundation. Um, it's open source, and um, the initial trusted compute um, support is this for Intel S SGX, but we plan to add other uh, trusted execution environments, TEEs, which are gen generalized for SGX and other trusted environments um, in the future. So we'll initially we'll have SGX uh, and later will be other options um, for trusted compute. 
And if you have any questions, you could um, look at the chat page or, or ask on the mailing list, which is linked to from the project page. Uh, thank you.